I'm Dr. Olympia McIntyre. I'm the staff scientist for Space Place and the Planetarium here at Science North. I like to think about things in terms of life support, even our planet. And that's why today I want to talk about plastic. In Canada, we use 2.8 billion plastic bags every year. That's enough that if we laid them end to end, we can make it to the moon and back. Each of these plastic bags is only used for an average of 12 minutes. There's lots of other plastics that end up out in the environment too, besides plastic bags, even unintentionally, right? Like this beach ball over here. One of the major issues with plastics in the environment is that they degrade, they break apart into smaller, smaller pieces. We end up with these microplastics, these little bits of plastic. Animals out in the lake and along the shore end up eating it. They end up ingesting that plastic. We end up eating those fish. We also drink this water and we don't really know the long-term health consequences of that. But thinking of it from a life support system, you don't want to be accumulating little bits of plastic in your system. 10,000 tons of plastic end up in the Great Lakes every year here in Canada. But even if your plastic ends up in the waste management system, Canada only recycles 10% of the plastic out of that system. The rest of it ends up in landfills. It takes thousands of years to degrade there. Long term, this isn't sustainable. The solution is to find alternatives to plastic in your everyday life. And we're gonna go through some of those. When you need to buy things, bring your own reusable bag. You could keep a stash of silverware at work. So if you forget to bring in your fork or spoon, you don't find yourself using a plastic one. Think about your daily habits. You drink water every day. Is there a way you can do that without using any plastic? And let us know. What are the actions you're taking in your daily life to reduce single-use plastic use?